Alrighty guys, and welcome to uh, another video, and today, well, we're going back to an oldie, not that much old, but, you know, it's a little bit old, Mafia 2. Now, recently they showed uh, Mafia 2 Defi Def Defiant, or something like that edition, and... They kinda, I would say, like, remaster the Mafia game, Mafia 2, and, uh, looks like they're, uh, bringing back Mafia 3 and stuff with all the add-ons. So I figured, hey, you know what? I enjoyed playing Mafia 2 back, back when. Why not bring it back and play it now? So, uh, this is definitely, um... Not the remastered version, this one's like the Xbox 360 version, but we are playing on the Xbox One and stuff. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to do the story, we're going to jump right in and, uh, you know, see how it goes. Um, let's see, what kind of mode do I want to play on? Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to play medium. Why not? I make sure everything's good. Mafia Two. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Good old city. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> shit, we started a little business of our own. The hell you got? Freeze! It. Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Let us shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the... I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. 
America was at war, and the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18, and anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? All right, chapter one. The Old Country. Since Sicily, July 1943. Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the fair. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? Eh? No, no, no. Ah, here we go. All right, Scaletta, take the shot. Allora, traditori, pensavate di poterci prendere in giro? Oh, got him. Oh, I missed it again. There we go. Let's move. There are times to charm, right? On me. Shit! I'm dead. I'm dead. Shit! Ah. I definitely forgot about that one. Oh, this guy is saying there's more troops headed this way. You and Williams take out that machine gun nest. Then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Hey, Scaletta! Over here! Get me up there, buddy. Make it through this way! Get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all the ammo you can carry. This might be our last Whoa. chance. Oh, look at this shit. Oh, man. What do I want? What do I want? I want a Tommy gun, baby. There we go. Got some pistols here. Rifles here. Alright, I think I'm good to go. Nice if I could just knock that over and here we go, come through. Oh, I nearly died. Must that have the prisoners sucked. upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. So you guys went that way. Uccidete right gli ostaggi! Got him. Arrenditi, o gli faccio saltare. Sorry, dude. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Up the window we go.
dico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Cacetto, un congè quando siamo arretati nei fucili. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovesse ascoltare i consigli di noi altri del posto. Ce ne andiamo. Sapete che potete affidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. He's like, why? Because he told them to, that's why. All right. We did it. Chapter two already. Home sweet home. Two years later, Empire Bay, February 8th, 1945. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. All right, time to drive. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth. You miss it? Hey, does a bear shit in the woods? Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. So this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry though, a drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking Damn. about my deadbeat father. Can we change the Probably subject, had, please? Uh, little fender so tell me, there. pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Yeah, what about that drink, buddy? Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. How come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Both mother and daughter Working for the Yankee dollar Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is... Uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. 
It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? Not it's me point. that can end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I going to pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Ooh. He came to the contact. Taxi. Here we are. Alright, thanks. Keep the change. But the fire is so two dollars off me, buddy. And since we go two dollars off me. All right. So walk to your mother's. Vito, let him go. Yeah, we'll be right back. Forget it. You can shoot me. He's not going anywhere. It's just one lousy beer. Yeah, right. What? Just one lousy beer, lady. Let him go. This guy's hacking along over here. You're good. Empire Base told us winner since 1922. Yeah, that's what everybody said when the Japs attacked. Extra secret. Hey, Mr. Manana. You closing the shop? Somebody's getting yelled at up there. Alright. Let's head up into the apartment. Upstairs, upstairs. Hi, Mama. I'm back. <laughs> Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy's home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Uh, yeah. so sit down, sit home. down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Bendice, Signore, pronunciare la parola volontà. Siamo ci vengono, provvedi nel cuore che ci vengono. Cristo nostro Signore. Little prayer before we eat. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. All my toys are still in there. Yep. My little pony right there. <laughs> my baseball stuff. My poster. My books. All my different type of dogs. On a poster. And my little teddy bear. Oh, I missed that thing. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. The next day. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. I, I, I can't be staying home anymore. All right. Hmm. 
Leather jacket. Here we go. Looking good. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Ma, Tra okay, I promise. Grazie, Leo. All right, all right. Well, first we gotta go to Joe's place, you know. We gotta go talk to Joe, see what he wants. Then we'll talk to the other guy. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? There we go. And, hey, I see you shutting that door. Don't you shut on that door, Mister Mike Monty? Uh huh. I, I saw you, Mike Monty. I'm gonna get you one day. All right, we are back outside, and I don't I'm give a sorry. damn. I don't care we'll if you gotta money. sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito. You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you picked a Come fight, on, buddy. Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, really? Tough guy, scaring ah. a woman, huh? Come on, show me what you got. Vito, oh. please. You're making it even worse. Ah. Oh. What you gonna do, buddy? Bam, bam. Stop, stop, please, Vito. What are you doing? Oh, he took me to school, alright. Please, Vito, this isn't your problem. Good there. Knock out. Right in the face. Knock his hat off. Ah, fuck this. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. We gotta go talk to the old boy Joe. <sighs> I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Alright. Take a look at our map. Not too much of a far run. But. Oh, hold on. That's how you sprint. Okay. How's it going, buddy? You're reading the newspaper, huh? Nowadays, we just look at our phone, not a paper, much anymore. Like checking across the street. But alright, guys, we're gonna end the video there. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and would like to see more Mafia too. Do consider to subscribe as well and also hit the notification bell to always stay notified of whenever I upload a new video, whether it's Mafia 2 or any other video game on my channel. Other than that, guys, be safe out there and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright, later.